The rollout of Euro 5 as part of our portfolio currently is a supplementary product portfolio uh, in key segments that we've got customers in. So we're targeting specific customers who need the next level of technology in their own ESG strategy. So ESG is the key word here um, and Euro 5 is simply just one of the stepping stones as we progress down the ESG strategy into the future. So. Um, yeah, uh, some of the, let's call it international customers have Euro 5 standards. They apply to this territory uh, and to be able to satisfy their needs, uh, it's very definitely what we need. And, and we introduced it last year and, uh, and it's starting to um, find its feet very nicely and, and pick up very nicely. Part of the, the ESG strategy um, I discussed earlier, uh, there's steps, there's the short term, medium, long term. And part of the short term on ESG is Euro 5, um, supplemented by um, technology which we call CNG, compressed natural gas. Uh, and that's part of a journey, we sit on a lot of gas in Joburg. So compressed natural gas for certain customers is the best thing they're going to get before any EV um, and, and it's very suitable. In the medium term, everyone's looking at EV. There will be EV in the portfolio, there's no doubt. But it, uh, our strategy is not, it's not all about e, um, EVs. You know, there's hydrogen longer term, um, let's call it other technologies that meet the ESG requirements. Uh, so our medium term is now with co uh, compressed natural gas, Medium term is EVs uh, and other, let me call it that. And then longer term, even more supplemented by um, possibly uh, hydrogen, you know, fuel cell technology, it would probably be a very good um, solution in this country. Part of us making a contribution to the economy and, and trying to get uh, support employment, entrepreneurs, um, it's very difficult to go through traditional financing. Um, so easy go is a way of renting a truck or a vehicle uh, because the individual, and we're targeting first time buyers or SMEs that are growing. Um, so it's the ability based on their contract simply and some um, track record of cash flow, uh, not necessarily having a balance sheet and income statement to access the rental of a truck um, and that's our contribution to try and help access uh, entrance into the marketplace because there is a very big need there going forward so easy easy go we call it um, together with our initiative on ready to work and ready to work is simply having the right truck with a body ready to go um, next month, next week, whenever, because every month or every week you miss out on generating revenue, um, set you back. And we, we're just trying to be efficient and be proactive uh, and assist getting into making a living and making a difference as quickly as you can. And, and in, in its simplicity, hopefully, is the benefit. Ready to work, we've been doing for more than a year. Uh, as we went in, well, uh, for good few years actually, um, as we went into the supply chain issues, uh, ready to work became very relevant uh, and it took on a new context, so that has really moved very well. We're just adding the element now of easy go of how you afford to get into that vehicle quickly um, to make a contribution.